สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen. Today we are making a dish called Pad Wun Sen, and you may recognize the word Wun Sen because it's glass noodles. And I've used glass noodles before in a salad, Yam Wun Sen, and also in a Pad Thai, Pad Thai Wun Sen. So today we're going to make another stir fry that's very simple and it's very popular. It's a very common thing that we eat at home. Now Pad means stir fry, and Wun Sen is our glass noodles here. Normally, noodle dishes is something that we eat sort of on its own, right? Like as a single dish meal. But pad wun sen is one of those noodle dishes that we actually eat with rice as part of a family-style dining. So it's got lots and lots of vegetables, and it'll be very good and actually quite simple to do. So let's take a look at our ingredients. So ingredients are pretty straightforward. A couple things to talk about: the glass noodles. Okay, when they're raw, they look like this. They're made from mung beans, so it's made from 100% beans, mung bean starch. Now, before you use it, you want to soak them in water, just room temperature water, until they're soft and pliable like this. Okay, it's about 10 minutes should do it. And then once it's soft, you want to go in with scissors and cut it so that they're not so long. Because I usually just cut it a couple times, and just because if it's long, then it's really hard to eat and distribute, and they're all stuck together. Um, they come in convenient 40 gram packages, and that is why I've decided to use 40 grams for this recipe. Anyhow, so that's our noodles, and then. One more, a couple more things. Chicken. You want to make sure you marinate your chicken in a teaspoon or so of fish sauce or soy sauce, just so that the chicken itself has some flavor. You can also do pork, beef, shrimp, or have no chicken altogether, no meat altogether. So, and then tomatoes. Want to make sure you take out all the seeds because the seeds contribute nothing but flavorless water that's just going to make our dish wet. So remove them. And then finally, just as a reminder, golden mountain sauce that I mentioned in the ingredient list is just another kind of soy sauce. Okay, so if you can't find golden mountain sauce, Maggi seasoning can do the same thing, or you can just substitute an equal amount of soy sauce. So that's all I'm going to talk about as far as ingredients go. And now it's time to cook. So I've got my wok heated up. Well, not yet. Soon it will be heated up. And then I'm going to put in some oil. Just some vegetable oil, canola oil. You don't want to skimp on the oil for this one. I mean, you don't have to put a gabut load, but don't put too little because if there's not enough oil, the noodles tend to be dry and then they'll clump up together, and it's not nice. And then we're gonna go in with garlic and onions. Now, optional, garlic has to go in now, but onions can go in later if you prefer your onions a little bit more on the raw and crunchy side. But I like the onions a little bit more cooked. So it's gonna go in in the beginning. So it also helps become one of the aromatics that will flavor the oil as well. So I get that going until the garlic starts to turn brown. Okay, so now the garlic is starting to turn brown. I'm gonna go in with the chicken, and I'm just gonna cook it until the chicken is split apart and no longer clumping together. And I'm not gonna cook the chicken. Long at this point because it's still got a lot of time in the pan, and it will finish by the time that happens. Okay, now that the chicken is, you know, somewhat split apart and no longer clumping together, just the outside is cooked. I'm gonna add a little more oil here, and then go in with the eggs, and I just add a little more oil just so the eggs have something to sit on. Break the yolks a little bit and let it set a little. Mmm, it's smelling good already. Okay, now once it's starting to set a little bit, chicken is caramelizing nicely. So it's halfway set. We're gonna scramble the egg. Get it mixed up with the chicken. So the eggs and the chicken can mingle and have a party. Okay, so now that we're there, eggs are scrambled. We're gonna go in with all the veggies. And at this point, 
I like to add just about a half a tablespoon of the sauce because I find that if I add all the sauce um, when the noodles go in, then all the noodles absorb the sauce and then the vegetables are all bland. So that's why I like to put a little bit of sauce on the vegetables and the eggs to distribute the love. Okay, now that that's done, go in with the noodles, the sauce. Now, glass noodles come in different sizes and, oh, and the sugar and the pepper. I'm gonna switch my weapon here to tongs because they work better with noodles. Glass noodles come in different sizes and you may need to add a little, a little bit of water. These ones are pretty thin, so I find that the liquid from the sauce is enough, but if you find that your noodles are a little thick and you taste it at the end and it's a bit too chewy, add a little splash of water. Just be very careful, a little at a time, because you can really add too much and then your noodles become mushy. See how fast it is? It's almost done. The chicken is pretty much done at this point. No more sauce, noodles well distributed. We're gonna go in with the tomatoes and green onions, which I forgot to mention in the ingredient list, just for some color. Just gonna give it a quick toss. Um, don't cook the tomatoes too long or they'll get mushy, but if you like mushy tomatoes, cook them longer. See, it's all about what you like. Okay, that's done. Boop. So see, so easy, so good. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, I'm gonna plate it up right here because glass noodles, if I leave it on the pan too long, tend to, oh, I think that should be good, tend to stick to the pan, stick to the wok. Oh yeah. Oh, that's heavy. Okay, quickly. Oh, that looks nice. See, you can eat this on its own as a single dish meal if you want to. Let's go over there and taste this. So here is our Pat Wun Sen. Now let me give it a taste for you. Get a little bit of everything, some noodles, some vegetable. Let's start with that. Mmm. Wow, that's really good. Actually, I think it's the best one I've made so far. I'm um, really nice and peppery. So if you like white pepper, mm, this is good. This is not a spicy dish. There's no chilies or anything, but the white pepper alone gives it just enough heat and it's perfectly seasoned. The vegetables are still crunchy. I haven't tasted the chicken, but I'm sure the chicken is perfectly cooked if you time it well. And that is all for Pat Winston. I hope you give it a try. It's so easy and it's pretty healthy too, if you're not, you know, carb conscious or anything. And for the recipe, as per usual, it is on hotthaikitchen.com. If you enjoy the show, please click to subscribe. And I will see you next time for your next delicious Thai meal.